In this video, I'm going to teach you how to export alpha channels using DaVinci Resolve. It's fairly straightforward, but there's definitely a few settings that you need to make sure you have correct in order for it to work. Alpha channels are great when you want to superimpose things over your footage, such as like a lower thirds title, an effect, or even when you're using green screen footage and you want to play something over an existing layer. If you're new here, we have over 200 videography related videos on the channel, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you're interested in any of the equipment or the music we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. All right, let's jump in. Okay, I'm in the edit page in Resolve and I have some footage loaded and I also have a lower thirds title that I created. And it has some animation, but you'll see that it is superimposed over the background footage. So even if we bring it over here, it exists by itself and it has a transparent background. So that transparent background is called an alpha channel and it's something that you have to add to your motion graphic if you want it to have a transparent background and be able to be used in this way where it's superimposed over footage. Having this type of workflow can be incredibly beneficial when you're doing more complex edits. It's what visual effects artists, motion graphics artists, or editors use constantly in their video projects. And now that you have an understanding of what an alpha channel is, essentially it's a transparent background, let's head over to the deliver page and I'll show you an updated newer way that used to not exist to get really small file sizes. Previously, you'd have to choose ProRes, make sure you're in the QuickTime format, Codec ProRes. And then you'd have to change the type from 422HQ to ProRes 4444. This would enable the export alpha option, which is how you get the transparent background. But again, the ProRes codec makes a massive file size. And while it's much easier to work with in editing programs, for us, we're on the newer M series Max, and the systems are very fast themselves. So we're not limited to using proxy files or ProRes for our exports or alpha channels. So if we go to H.264, you'll see that no matter what we do, there's no option for alpha channels. And that is because H.264 does not allow it. It's just an older format and it doesn't allow higher bit depth. It doesn't allow alpha channels. It's great for smaller file sizes and it's been the go-to for many years for web uploads. But now under the H.265 option, we do have export alpha. In previous versions of Resolve, they did allow H.265 and they did show this option, but it actually didn't work. We ended up reaching out to the Resolve team. We reported this bug to them and they ended up fixing it, which is really cool. So now it is an option and it does also work within the MP4. If you make sure it's back to the H.265 under the MP4 option as well. So because it's H.265, you're going to get quality that's like ProRes, but file sizes that are smaller than H.264. And that, of course, is what you want if you have a fast computer. And especially if you're shooting on, let's say, like Sony cameras like we are that actually shoot in H.265. So the entire workflow of our edits can stay within H.265. We save a lot of hard drive space. We don't have any slowdown. We don't need to work with proxies. We can export all our motion graphics. So it's a much more efficient way to edit now that everything works within H.265, including uploading to YouTube. Previously, YouTube did not allow uploads in H.265, so that's also a cool note. And of course, I should say that if you have footage behind your motion graphic, even if you choose export alpha, you're going to bake in that background footage and you're not actually going to get a transparent background. So make sure that in your edit page, you're moving off to the side or that you don't have other footage so that you can then make your selection so that you're rendering the in and out range of only your motion graphic where it doesn't have any footage in the background. From there, you can follow the normal steps of choosing a file name, a location, adding it to the render queue, and you are good to go. That's it for this video on exporting alpha channels in DaVinci Resolve. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future, we have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.